you watch my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of the Surface Pro 6. In fact, it was my favorite tune one of 2018. And I'm always in the lookout for something even better. So my search landed me on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 tablet, third gen. Now I didn't get a chance to review it when it got released, mid last year, but I'm glad I got a chance to check it out recently. I took delivery of it about a week and a half ago, and I've been putting it through its paces ever since. And boy, am I glad I took a look at this one. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and review of the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 tablet, third gen, coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Well, why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification icon. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. And don't forget to check me out on my social media, especially Twitter, because that's where I post all the latest updates. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to check this two-in-one out is because it's on sale right now over at Lenovo. You can get some pretty good deals for some pretty good specs. So one of the reasons, again, I wanted to check this out is because I think it's a pretty good competitor for the Surface Pro 6 in many ways. Now, before we get to the unboxing, here's a quick rundown of the specs. What you're looking at is a 13-inch 3K IPS LCD display. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's powered by the Intel 8th generation Kaby Lake processor, either the Core i5 or the Core i7. You can configure it up to one terabyte of SSD storage and up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It comes with a micro SD card slot and an optional LTE, which I recommend. But enough with the specs, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now packaging is once again very premium as we come to expect with the ThinkPad line. Opening the lid, you're greeted by the unit itself and you also get your keyboard cover. We'll get to that excellent keyboard cover in just a little bit. Some documentation, warranty information as well. You get the ThinkPad Pen Pro at no additional cost. It uses the Wacom AES technology, 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity, runs off one quadruple A battery. They give you the plastic pen holder as well. We'll get to that in a little bit, but it's good to see they throw that pen in the box. You get your extension cord and your 65 watt power adapter, which uses USB type C. Now the keyboard cover is really nice. It uses a smooth finish as opposed to the Alcantara you get with the type cover for the Surface Pro 6, but this is a legendary ThinkPad keyboard with the track point on it. It's really excellent. Now holding the unit for the first time, this thing is built like a tank, premium all the way. Construction is first rate. It has strong, sturdy metal hinges that should be durable over the long haul and should have little flex. It's put through 12 military standard tests to ensure its durability lives up to the ThinkPad standard. You get a one-year warranty with all models that you can extend if you want. Now, when it comes to the ports, you get two Thunderbolt 3 ports, a micro SD card slot, and an optional LTE SIM slot, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the other side, you get your power button as well as your volume rocker up and down. Now, as far as those Thunderbolt 3 ports are concerned, they do support four lanes. So if you want to connect to an external GPU or multiple 4K monitors, you have that option. Now, before we get to the display, I want to thank today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Go, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Steam CD keys, mini games, and so much more. And they all come in at a fantastic price. And I have some great news, a special 21% discount code just for my viewers for Microsoft Office and Microsoft Windows 10 professional OEM keys. Okay, so check this out. Microsoft Office, $31.50 with my 21% discount code, $24.89. That's a steal. Need Microsoft Office? No problem. $57.64 becomes $45.54 after my 21% discount code. That's incredible. Want the 2016 Microsoft Office? It's a little bit cheaper. $39.89 becomes $35.90. I have a special 10% discount code for that. And that's another great savings right there. Ordering is easy and safe. Head on over to LVLGo.com for these great savings. And remember to use my discount codes and tell them Andrew sent you. Now, to me, the star of the show is its gorgeous 13-inch IPS LCD display. 
absolutely gorgeous. It's a 3K display. That's a 3000 by 2000 resolution. It's a multi-touch display. It's really responsive. I have to say, I think Lenovo did a fantastic job when it comes to this display. And because it has that 3000 by 2000 resolution, looking at 277 pixels per inch, you also are getting a three by two aspect ratio. That's my favorite aspect ratio, a nice blend between getting worked on as far as productivity and consuming media such as Netflix and YouTube. And it's a very bright display coming in at 415 nits, certainly above the category average and one of the best in this category. It's great for both indoor and outdoor use. That's fantastic. The blacks are very deep, the colors are really vibrant and just seem to pop off the display. I actually love this display. And it also covers the color gamut really well at 120% sRGB. So if you're a creative professional, this is a definitely a tune one you can look at. Now you will notice the side bezels as well as the top and bottom chin. That's because this will be used as a tablet. So if you're using it with the pen, taking notes, you will need a place to hold the tablet. So hence those bezels. Now the pen itself has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity and I thought that the palm rejection worked well, a great implementation, great for taking notes, great for sketching out artwork. I have no real issues with the pen, I thought it worked really well, comparable of course to that Surface Pen we saw with the Surface Pro 6. Now, unlike the Surface Pro 6, where you could magnetically attach the pen to the side of the unit, but this doesn't have that option. Instead, they give you a plastic pen holder. And it's not the greatest solution, to be honest. However, I didn't lose the pen, and it stayed in its silo the whole time. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a ThinkPad without its legendary ThinkPad keyboard, and I'm happy to report that this does come with an excellent type cover with that great keyboard. Excellent key travel with the touchpad, and of course, that great track point, which I absolutely love and wish more manufacturers would include in their devices. Having said that, I think this is far superior, in my opinion, than the type cover you get with a Surface Pro 6. I think the typing experience is just that much better, and I'm not surprised as Lenovo and the ThinkPad line make some excellent keyboards. Now it has some really strong magnets, giving you a really secure connection, so in that regard, it's really great. And of course, this being a Surface-like device with that kickstand gives you some really excellent viewing angles and it's an excellent design overall. I think they did a fantastic job with it. Now you're probably wondering by now, well, how's the performance? Actually, I'm glad you asked, it's really good. Now you can get it obviously with the Core i5 or the Core i7, and I put up the performance numbers for both. As you can see, the Core i7 8650U with the V Pro obviously did better than the Core i5 8250U, but that's to be expected. But again, either one will do very well. These are quad core processors, eighth gen. Now, of course, it also depends on whether you're gonna get it with eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM. The more RAM, the better, of course. So if you want to do any kind of video editing or any kind of gameplay on this, I would go with the Core i7, of course, and get as much RAM as you can. But of course, this is not a gaming machine. This is not going to play any AAA titles. You're not going to do any 4K video editing. That's not what this is for. So just bear that in mind. Now, as far as thermals are concerned, I thought it was pretty good, not the best, but I thought they did a decent job in terms of heat management. Now, when I put it under heavy load during my streaming 15 minute HD video test, it did reach 101 Fahrenheit or 38.3 degrees Celsius, which is a little bit warm, but not overly hot and not uncomfortable to the point we can't touch the back. So keep that in mind. But I think overall, they did a decent job in terms of the heat management. Now, unlike the Surface Pro 6, you can get inside this device, you can upgrade the SSD, but the RAM, unfortunately, is soldered on, so you won't be able to upgrade that. But if you do want to upgrade the SSD, you have that option, although you do get some really good reads and writes, as you can see from these results. And it's pretty simple to get inside. All you have to do is remove some Phillips head screws from the back and you're in. Well, performance is good so far, but what about battery life? How about longevity? Well, Lenovo claims up to nine and a half hours of use on a charge. It does have a 42 watt hour battery. Unfortunately, those claims don't hold up. With the Core i5, you're looking at six hours and 20 minutes and the Core i7, you're looking at a little under six hours, which isn't really good, especially when you compare it to its chief competitor, the Surface Pro 6. It does fast charge though so if you do plug in it takes a little bit under two hours to get a full charge they do supply a 65 watt power adapter in the box so this is the front facing camera on the thinkpad x1 third gen uh, it's actually pretty good i for considering this is a two-in-one they're usually terrible 
for the most part on the two ones we've seen in the past. But this actually isn't too bad. But again, I want to know what you think. Let me know. Now, this is a 1080p, 30 frames per second, and it's good for Skype. It's good for video conferencing. But again, let me know what you think about it. I am curious to know. Although it's not a Windows Hello camera, keep that in mind. Now, the rear facing camera is actually pretty good considering this is a tablet and the video, as you can see here, wasn't too bad. I was actually pleasantly surprised with it. Usually we see really terrible cameras on these two-in-ones tablets. This is actually pretty good. And I thought the photos actually weren't too bad either. So check it out. I think they actually did a pretty good job. I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know. Now you do get a fingerprint scanner. It's on the right side when you're in landscape mode. It worked well, setup was pretty easy, and it registered my finger pretty much every time I used it. Now when it comes to the audio, I wasn't impressed. In fact, I was a little bit disappointed. They just don't get loud enough. They're too quiet. Now they are Dolby Atmos speakers, so you can tune them within software wise, but really this didn't give me a rich sound. It didn't get loud enough as I stated, and I just wasn't impressed. Now the good news is you do get a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, so you can plug in your wired headphones, which would do a lot better. Now, despite having a larger display than the Surface Pro 6, this is a very portable device. It's thin and light, and it's easy to carry around with you, say you're a business executive going to a board meeting or a student going to a classroom. This is actually a pretty good package. So to wrap things up, can I recommend the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 tablet third gen? And the answer is absolutely. This is an excellent two-in-one. I love its gorgeous design. It's bright, vivid 3K display, excellent keyboard. The touchpad is great. And so is that track point, optional LTE, good port selection, Thunderbolt 3 support, and it's user upgradable, something that the Surface Pro 6 is not. Now, of course, it's not perfect. I'm not crazy about its battery life. It won't last all day. You get some weak audio, and I'm not crazy about that pen slot and this can get pretty pricey but to me there are no real deal breakers unless you consider the battery life a deal breaker i'm going to give this a score of 89 percent making the x1 tablet worth your money so what do you think about the lenovo thinkpad x1 tablet third gen i absolutely love it this is built like a tank. The design is excellent. The display is really gorgeous. It's a 3K display. No complaints on that front. I love the fact they give you the pen and the keyboard in the box. And speaking of keyboards, it's got that excellent keyboard we've come to love with the ThinkPad line. This is no exception. I absolutely love it. And I love the fact they include the track point, one of my favorite pointing devices of all time. Now, the negatives here are it's lackluster battery life, of course, as well as the lackluster speakers they're actually pretty weak so I'm not happy with the speakers or the battery life on this but everything else is really excellent performance was very good out of its eighth generation KB Lake processor although I would love a refresh with the Whiskey Lake processor although this did very well obviously as you can see from those results we showed in the video this is built like a tank. It's got that mill standard grade on it. So it's been put through 12 different tests to show its, endur its durability through all the different elements, as well as taking a lot of abuse. And it really can do that. So if you're the business user or the student who's really hard on their devices, this is a two-in-one for you. It can get expensive, of course, but then again, you're paying for the quality. You're getting the beautiful display, the rock solid build quality, and the overall great looks. Now, speaking of the looks, it is a major fingerprint magnet. You will be wiping it down, but when it is clean, it really looks gorgeous. And I have no complaints on that front. But then again, you will be carrying a cleaning cloth because it does collect fingerprints rather easily. But overall, I think it really does the job and it's an excellent Surface Pro 6 alternative. And in a lot of ways, it may be even a better value because you do get the pen and you do get the keyboard included. Those are the two things you need to buy separately with the Surface Pro 6, making that a very expensive proposition. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.